The glass black grill. I, I really like the wing mirrors. I think the wing mirrors look awesome. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know whether to wave or give you the thumbs up. How are you all doing today? I hope you've been enjoying the recent content on Supercars of London and my daily vlogs that feature this car. Today is uh, an exciting day. I am less than a week into ownership of this car and it is going to dub customs today. So we've got a bit of a long drive ahead of us. This is the first time that I've be really been on a, well, longer than 20, 30 mile drive. Does that make sense? So I'm excited. There's tunnels on the way, so bring that on, but also, I am hoping to experiment a little bit with the standard factory look. So I might play around with the colour of the wing mirrors, um, but I might also have a look around. The crazy thing is, I got tagged in a picture by Black Fox Photography. Look at that. So that has got a Mark I Superleggera spoiler with a DMC kit and they've also made the wheels gloss black. Now that's something that I didn't really want to do because I love the wheels how they are and if you put them in gloss black then you're gonna ruin the design. So it's just something to think about, something to think about. I've had a lot of questions as to whether, whether I'm gonna put a spoiler on it or what am I gonna do to the car. So we're gonna go down to Dub Customs and have a bit of a chat and play around with the exterior a little bit. So today is going to be a vlog at Dub Customs. I haven't edited yesterday's video yet, so that's gonna happen. And also, um, there's some tunnels on the way. There's some tunnels on the M25, which I cannot wait to have a bit of a blast through. So I suppose as this is my first long journey, I get an idea as to how good this car is as economic driving, economy driving. There's no E mode, there's no efficient mode like there is in my A1. Um, it literally is normal, sport, or Corsa. So I have got 100, I oh know, 225 miles of fuel, but hold on. M25 junction 26 to 20, 27 is congestion. I think I have to pass through that. Okay, so within 10 minutes of being on the M25, I'm pleasantly surprised. My fuel needle looks as though it's gone the other way. There is a petrol god out there that is currently giving me fuel. I know, I've just, I went up to 240 miles and now I'm on 235. 240, it's literally just gone back up. I think it's hovering around 240 miles, which isn't bad. So what started to be a pleasant surprise, I feel like I'm having to talk up because this part of the M25, the roads are, the road tarmac is dreadful. It looks as though it's being resurfaced and um, it's very, very loud. I got to 255 miles of fuel, 255 miles of fuel. Now, I know that uh, normal supercar owners don't do this and maybe that's why <laughs> I have so much interest in how good some of these cars actually can be on fuel. Because when someone normally buys a Lamborghini, they don't buy it to try and get good fuel economy. They just buy it because it's a Lamborghini. But we, even with the R8, I was intrigued as to how good the car could be with the fuel. Like if you drove it sensibly like any normal car, because these cars can be driven like normal cars. 255 miles of fuel and my needle has not moved at all. I'm still a bit over halfway of a tank, which means that like this car could potentially get 500 miles of fuel. I uh, prematurely stopped the video camera. We have got our first tunnel coming up. That means sports enabled. Just gonna play it. Oh, did you hear that crackle?
the window back up now. That was good. That was good. So we've arrived at Dub Customs somewhere over there and um, we are moving some cars around so that I can get in. And a few things that we're doing to this car, we're gonna play around with these wing mirrors, whether they look good in gloss black. And we're also gonna try and do the rear grille, which I will show you is currently a, a, a black, almost like a blackboard black. So it's like really, really matte black. Um, and they have shown me pictures of one that they did in gloss black and it looked amazing. So let's swing this car in now. I've also got the 918 in here, looking amazing. Here we go. Woohoo! And we are in. The three C63s with IPE full DCAT exhaust systems, absolutely nuts. We've got a nice DB9. Check out what the 918 is looking like at the moment. It is going highlighter yellow. Not that you can really see it on the camera. No, you can't really see it at all. It looks like a normal yellow. We're gonna get a number plate for here so that I've got a front number plate because you need to abide by the law. And then we're changing the rear grille into gloss black to match this, which I think is gonna look awesome. Normally I am through there, but today I'm using this place And here it is. We've done one black wing mirror to match the roof. And the other one is slowly getting done over there. With the front number plate as well. I like the front number plate, I think it looks cool. Yeah. I mean, it's right, it's like hidden out of the way. Yeah, and it's reflective when I put the light on it. Oh, yeah. Yes. There's the right plate. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> So the final bit, it's noisy in here, but the final bit is we have gone gloss black on the rear mesh. Now this is normally in a really blackboard, matte black. And I don't know why, but it sometimes goes white in the little honeycomb bits here. Oh, just keep your right. Sorry. <laughs> and now, as you can see, it's gone gloss black, which it definitely should have come out of the factory like this, as the guys from Dub Customs say. I think this looks vastly better and just matches the rest of the car like, look, this is gloss black. I run around to the front and I've managed to do gloss black on the front, but on the rear, they always have satin black. So this is gloss black. Now the rear matches. Typical Italians, as we discussed earlier, but this is now coming together. So look, even this, is gloss black. Sounds good. It is time to drag the car out and get it outside to check it out. So let's, I think it might cold start, you know. Bing, bing, bing. Two, three, four. Oh, it's because the door's open. <laughs> right, here we go. So here it is. Looks good, doesn't it? So much 
<laughs> Everyone's checking out the gloss black grill. I pref I really like the wing mirrors. I think the wing mirrors look awesome. It makes the car wider. I think they look wider. Yeah. yeah. And let's check out the rear. Look at the gloss black grill now. away with the black wing mirrors this is the weirdest thing to look at I drove here with white wing mirrors looking in my rear view and all you see is white however now I'm looking into black wing mirrors and all I see is white it's weird it's weird to say the least started the car up with 280 miles and just doing that gear change there has put it down to 275. I'm amazed at the fuel economy of this car. I think there's going to be some fuel economy tests to be done. But right now, I'm just going to enjoy this slight tweak and new look. And I'm going to take it down to SB in a couple of days so that they can check it out. Because I don't think they've seen gloss black across the rear diffuser before. It just looks amazing. Like, every bit that we've done today, I think, is... a just an enhancement to how it came out of the factory so I hope you guys can agree with me as well comment below what you want to see next done to this car I'm not gonna go crazy with the modifications I'm not gonna go crazy with the wraps um, I know a lot of people have asked to see um, a super leger wing on the car which I'm still not sure about just yet but in general if you had a Lamborghini Gallardo what would you do to it because I want to know what you guys would do with a Lamborghini Gallardo so that, well, we can just build the best car. Like with the R8, I just want you guys involved in the journey as much as possible so we can build the best looking Lamborghini in the world because we're all a part of this car. You've joined me on all of the journeys to get to this point. So I can't wait to uh, hear what you have to say. And I did mention the exhaust system in yesterday's video, but I don't think I actually mentioned what is going to be happening to it. It is going to be an Armitrix system. It is going to be the Armitrix Backbox F1 Titanium Crosspipe, the same as my R8. But we're going to be doing something a little bit spicier with the headers and the decap pipes. So we're going to have a lot of fun. This car is going to burst a lot of eardrums, and that is how we're going to make it the loudest Lamborghini Gallardo in the whole of Europe. Well, that's what we're going to try and do, fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it, and I think this final sort of end to the video has been fantastic, just seeing what the transformation of the car has done. So thank you for watching, and thank you for tuning in to Supercars of London, as always. I will see you tomorrow for another fun-filled daily vlog. I'm not sure whether Lamborghini is involved or not. It's not, but you would have seen on Instagram and Twitter what it does involve, because it involves a hypercar. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And whilst I go around this roundabout. Oh, look at that. I'm hitting the apex. <laughs> see you tomorrow, guys. Whoa! Oh my God, those shifts.